Hi friends, welcome to our 14 day piano scale challenge, day three. Today we're gonna to be focusing on the G major scale and the E minor scale. So let's build them. For G major, we start with G, we go up a whole step to A, up a whole step to B, up a half step to C, up a whole step to D, up a whole step to E, up a whole step to F sharp, and up a half step to G. So we can see in the G major scale that we have one sharp, it's an F sharp. And the same is true of E minor. So to build our E natural minor scale, we start on E, we go up a whole step to F sharp, up a half step to G, up a whole step to A, up a whole step to B, up a half step to C, up a whole step to D, and up a whole step to E. And that is our E natural minor scale. Now you might remember from yesterday, we're gonna focus on the natural minor scale when you practice, but if you want the challenge of the harmonic minor scale or the melodic minor scale, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that natural minor scale. For the harmonic, you're gonna raise the seventh scale degree. So you're gonna change that D into a D sharp. And for the melodic minor scale, you're gonna raise the sixth and seventh scale degree on the way up. So it's gonna be C sharp and D sharp on the way up. And then on the way down, you will natural them again. Now the great news about G major and E minor is that the fingering is exactly the same as it was yesterday. So for both scales, for the right hand going up, we're gonna use fingers one, two, three, cross the thumb under and do one, two, three, four. And if we're ending at one octave, we'll end on five. If we're going up more octaves, we'll cross the thumb under and continue on with that pattern. Now, to get back down the scale, we're gonna read through that fingering backwards. Now for our left hand fingering, we're gonna start with our pinky, and we're gonna do five, four, three, two, one, cross our third finger over, second finger, then thumb, and then we can end there, or we can continue on by crossing our fourth finger over and going on with that pattern. Same thing, to get back down the left hand scale, we read those finger numbers going backwards. Now for every single level, I want you to turn your metronome onto 40. Beginners, you're gonna do one octave, hands alone, one note per click. Intermediate, you're gonna do two octaves, either hands alone or hands together, with two notes per click. And advanced players, you're going to do one octave hands together, one note per click, going straight into two octaves, two notes per click, three octaves, three notes per click, and four octaves, four notes per click. Ideally hands together, but you can do it separately if needed. Now for today, I want you to try to practice your scales with different articulations, meaning you can play them the legato, which is smooth and connected. You can play them staccato, which is short and detached. You could play them accented, which means that every single note is going to be strong and emphasized. Or for a real challenge, you could play them in two note slurs with a nice down up motion of your wrist. Practicing with different articulations is a really great way to engage our brain and to help us focus and to also work on our piano technique. So as you experiment with these different articulations, make sure that you're still playing nice and evenly. Make sure that you're still paying attention to all the fingering because remember you wanna be super consistent and follow the fingering always. And go ahead and have a little fun with it. If you have any questions at all, please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow.